everyone. Hey there. Thank y'all so much for joining us tonight. Welcome. Come on in. We are going to have a fun night. Yes, we, have, we are. We have a really fun read for you tonight, so I think you're really going to like this one. Yes, this one is an extra large wreath, so we are excited. So come on in and make sure to say hello when you join us. Right. Yeah. Yes, we are happy to be here. We have not been here for a while, so we are excited to be back. That's right. Welcome. Come on in, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Hey, Jean. Welcome. Yep. Yes, we have been off for a couple of weeks. Hey, Donna. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Connie. Welcome, hey. Donna. Yeah. Hey, Tabby. Hey Louise, thank y'all so much for joining us tonight. Yes. I think that you guys are really going to enjoy this wreath that we're going to be making. I hope so. I think so too. Hey Lisa. So, we have a fun summer wreath. This is actually, this wreath is not going to be for sale. This is one that she is actually making yep. for her <laughs> own home. Yes, it's going and on my, my wall and my porch, on my porch. Yeah, and the spot that she needed it for is like she needed an extra large one. Yep, so this hey, one Margaret. is going to be extra large. Hey Joyce, hey Cynthia, welcome. Thank y'all so much for joining us tonight. Yes, we are just so happy to be back. I'm telling you, we have missed all of you. Yes, we have. So we are happy to be back. Amanda had a trip a week before last. Was it week before last? I guess yeah. so. All last my week. weeks have last been week. hey, yeah, last week. She was out of the country in Germany, her and her husband, and then this past week, I ended up sick, so we've just missed you, yeah. but hey, we Berlin. are back, and we are hey, happy. Hey, Roxanne. Hey, Dottie. We're going to go ahead and get started for yeah. you guys tonight. Yes, and this is a 24-inch uh, grapevine wreath that we are making this on. And I've already wired on my uh, birdhouse. Isn't that the cutest birdhouse? It's a little outhouse. And I have wired. Welcome sign actually uh, came on something else and it's got this uh, metal bar on it. But I said, you know, I started to take that off and then I said, I can hide that. So you're not gonna see it when I finish with it. So I just left it and I used it to wire my welcome sign on with it. So, oh, Rita, we missed you too. I'm telling you, we. I, I told Amanda a while ago I couldn't wait to get back because I have missed everybody. Yeah, and so she was a really sick one. She had pneumonia and the flu. I sure did. It was not a fun time for me, but uh, praise God, I am better, and I am so thankful. Yeah. So... We are going to get started. Yes, Jean, she is fully recovered now. Yes, so did you show I them am. all the flowers that we're going to no, be doing? No, let me show using? you. Yes, I have got here some sunflowers and some pretty yellow um, Gerber daisies that I'm going to be using. I have got some, let's see, some red roses that I'm going to use. I've got some gorgeous uh, red magnolias that I'm going to use, red geraniums, and then I've also got some white daisies, and these pretty little filler flowers that I'm going to be using. So, and then of course I've got some, some greeneries, because you know I like my greeneries, so I've got several different greeneries I'm going to use, so, uh, we are going to get started. And did you tell them who we were? Well, for those of you who are new, maybe remember. those of you who are just joining us, welcome. Hello, everyone. Thank y'all so much for spending the evening with us. Those of you who are watching live, just let us know in the comments that you're watching live. And those of you who are watching the replay, just put hashtag replay in the comments so that we know and so that we can say hello to you. Um, my name's Amanda. This is my mom, Sherry. Hey there. We are designers at Grace Monroe Home, where we teach you how to transform the ordinary home into an extraordinary home. Yes, we do. So tonight we've got a fun project that we're going to share with you guys. 
I'm going to go ahead and start making our bow. Now I am using a Bow Dabra Bow Maker. This is my bow maker of choice. This is the one that I, I tend to use the most. Um, if you don't have one of these and you make a lot of wreaths or a lot of bows, I definitely recommend this. It's a great tool to have and it's super inexpensive, like $10, $15. So I'll show you what ribbons I'm going to be using tonight. I've got a two and a half inch. Um, this is kind of a rustic looking red plaid. I like this. Um, I think it's going to go really well with our kind of um, kind of rustic birdhouse that we're using. Then I have a yellow that's going to kind of tie in the summer look and the, the sunflowers and the daisies that we're using. And then I have my black and white. And if you guys watch me often, you know that I love using black and white in wreaths and especially since we've got this really pretty black welcome sign and the, the black accent on the birdhouse. So those are the ribbons that I'm going to be using tonight. These are wired ribbons. So I will say just make sure if you're going to be making wreath bows that you do get wired ribbon. Yes, definitely. And while she's doing that, I'm going to go ahead. I've got some FICA sleeves that I'm going to be putting around the outside. So for my tails, let's see, let me make sure you guys can see this pretty good. Okay, so for my tails, I'm going to bake my tails about, they're about 14 inches each, so you're going to need about 28 inches of ribbon. Now, I am not, um, I'm not measuring, so I'm just kind of eyeballing it, but I would say these are about, that's about a 28 inch piece of ribbon. So I'm going to go ahead and dovetail my ends. I'm going to do this with all of my ribbons. So to dovetail my ends and make them pretty, I'm just going to put them together. I'm just going to fold them over just like that. And then I'm going to cut upward. So then I have those really nice, clean dovetail ends. So I'm going to do that with all of my ribbons. Go ahead and do this. Now this is actually, the red is actually Christmas ribbon from a couple of years ago. Yeah. But we tend to use this all year long. Yes, we do. So don't think that you just have to use Christmas ribbon at Christmas time or in the winter. Because really, there is some Christmas ribbon that can be used year round. Sure, and red, red checks, that's perfect. Yours. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with my black and white ribbon. Alright. So there we go. So I have my tails cut. I do need wire. That's one thing that uh, I, I thought I had put it over there, but I don't know what happened to it. But here's some more okay. right here. One thing I forgot was my yeah, wire. There you go. And that is very important when you're making your wreath. Yes. You kind of have to have that. Kind of need your wire. Yeah, got to have that. So I'm just going to cut a really long piece. I place it right down in the center of my, my botabra, just like that, just fold it under, sit my botabra down, and then I'm going to place my, um, <clears throat> my tails right in the center. So I just do them like this and kind of, kind of eyeball it and make sure they're even. I want to get them as even as I can, doesn't have to be perfect, but as close as I can. I'm going to start with my red. So tonight, I'm going to be making these with about, um, a, what do you think, six inch loops? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, got dizzy. That'll six work. inch loops. And again, I'm not measuring. These are about six inches, uh, give or take. <laughs> but this is a really, um, I kind of wanted a big bow because it is going to be 
a really big wreath. How big yeah. do you think it'll be after you get done with it? Well, let's see here. We will just see. This one is going to be about 40 inches uh, long and I'd say oh, about 30, 34 inches wide. So it's going to be pretty big. Yeah, but so, I need a big one so, for this space. So, so 40 inches by 34 inches. So right. that's a pretty substantial size wreath, yeah. I would say. And uh, the space I'm putting it, I kind of kind of need it, so that's going to be perfect. Okay, and this is going to have um, 12 loops. This is going to be a 12 loop bow. That is my standard size wreath bow. Is that about good for you or do we need a little more since it's larger? Um, give me a few more. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Do you want to do maybe like Let's a 16 see. Loop? Yeah, probably about 16. Okay. That'll work. So standard size right for me here, is 12 so. loops. This is going to be a larger wreath, so yeah. we're going to do it a little bit larger, so it'll be about 16 loops total. Yeah. And you see, I'm, what I'm doing is just going around and putting um, my greenery around the outside so that I can kind of get my shape and, my, and the size that I'm looking for. So by doing the greenery first, that really gives her an opportunity to um, kind of create the, her own dimensions with right. the wreath and make it as large as she wants it, really. That's right. She can kind of determine the size of it that way too. Okay, so I'm gonna... Hey guys, those of you who are just joining us, welcome. If you're new to our channel, I'm Amanda and this is my mom, Sherry. Hey, We're Amanda. with Grace Monroe Home and we are so happy to have you guys on with us tonight. Yes, we welcome. are. Welcome. Trying to read some of the comments as we go. We are making an extra large summer wreath here. Yeah, and these ribbons, actually, the black and white ribbon, out of that yellow, the yellow ribbon is pretty standard. It's just a two and a half inch yellow, solid yellow ribbon. Um, you can get that pretty much anywhere. I believe that this came from Craft Outlet. Mm -hmm. Now, the black and white ribbon definitely did come from craftoutlet.com. And then the red ribbon is actually, um, it's a Christmas ribbon from a couple years ago, and that came from Sam's. So that's where the ribbons came from. I'm just gonna put a couple more pieces. So I'm out of my yellow, so I won't have quite as many um, yellow loops, but that's okay, that's not really a problem. No, it is fine. Ficus leaves done. All right, I think that's enough. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. I just think this is the cutest little birdhouse. Yeah, it's different. I, I don't believe I've ever I seen I get one birds like that. that build nests in my wreaths anyway, so hey. They'll have their little house to do it in this time. Yeah, we had a little accident. I'll tell you all the story. We had a little accident today. No, I haven't told you. Oh, yet. you haven't mm -hmm. told me. Oh, no. Yeah. Is it a bad? Yeah. Oh. Well, we had a, um, yeah. if, you've, if you've watched yeah. recently, you know, I've had a, a problem with birds building nests in my wreaths. Well, I put hair, human hair, in the wreath, which worked for a while until the bird went around the back of the wreath and built um, built a nest in the back of the reed, mm -hmm. away from the human hair, which I did not know that that it would do. Uh, who would have known? Well, <laughs> I thought it would have kept them yeah. out. Well, yesterday, let's see, was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday that it got in your house. Yesterday, the bird flew. When I opened the door, the bird flew in the house. He pooped on my 
on my bed, pooped on my curtains, oh. and we chased him all around the house. So <laughs> I was, can just was, imagine two little girls having a blast. Yeah, it was a, it was a mess. Yeah. But then today, I looked out the window and the wreath had fallen, oh. and so the little bird nest with all the little eggs were oh was messed up. Was messed up. Well. I know, and all the little eggs were cracked and broken. Oh, well, so it was sad. <laughs> it's sad, but it, it happens. It's sad, but it and happened. And you know, I tried to be gentle, but it was on my front door. My girls go in and out. They do. I mean, you have to use your yeah. door, you know. Yeah. But still, I know it was sad. Did the girls see it? They didn't. Well, they saw that the, the wreath was on the um, porch. They're but the they ones that told see. me, but they uh -huh. didn't see. And well, so we, we took care of it. But it was good, sad. Good. It is sad. I know. As, as like, much Mama of a worked nuisance, so hard. You know, know. Mama worked so hard. For that. As much of a nuisance as it is, it's still sad when something happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'll go ahead and tell you. Um, a lot of people are saying, so good to see you. Yeah, she's been, oh, she's been sick. We're glad I, she's. I am so thankful she's, to be feeling better she's and back, and back to better. work. I have missed it and missed all of you. I tell you, I really have. Oh, you're welcome, Joyce. You're welcome. Joyce is a member of our Design with the Pros Club, and I was just reading her comment. She was thanking me for some help that I gave her. She's very welcome. Um, yeah. Our Design with the Pros Club actually closes in nine days, so if yeah. you guys are interested in learning about it, you can um, go to our website at www.gracemonroehome.com. We have a fantastic time. Oh, my goodness. We our have members, the best group. Oh, my gosh. Our members are learning so much, and they are just um, improving just every single week we just see more and more improvements so if you would love to be a part of that we would love to have you um, and like I said you can go to our website at www.gracemonroehome.com yeah. all right while she is finishing uh, or while she's doing that yeah I'll go ahead I'm gonna be messing around over here so I'll go ahead and tell you guys what I'm doing <laughs> So I'm not a distraction. Yeah. I am going to just be making a greenery wreath for somebody. I've got a few different kind of greenery, so I'm just going to be playing around with that. So I don't want to distract from the pretty big summer wreath that she's making over there. These magnolias are absolutely beautiful. However, as pretty as they are, I wasn't crazy about the leaves on them. So. I bought the uh, bush of leaves here, like this, from Hobby Lobby because I love these leaves, so I am using these instead. So I took all of the leaves off of my magnolias and I'm replacing them with these. You will never know. Of course, it's my wreath, but you still will never know that they didn't come like that. And these are just so much prettier. And I do that a lot of times. If I, you know, don't like the, the leaves that are on one, I'll replace them with something else. Something that looks a little more natural or something. Yeah, and so um, people were asking in the comments about the greenery wreath that I'm making. So I'll just show you what's in it. Basically, the customer just wanted mostly eucalyptus and boxwood and that sort of thing. It's just, it's gonna, it's gonna be totally green. That's what they wanted. So, so I've just got a few different greeneries um, that I'm using. This is gonna be kind of, kind of a little bit of a farmhouse look. Um, but I love doing these greenery wreaths, and they're great to use all year long. I love the greenery ones too. one's got a price tag that I can't seem to get off. But that's those, are, those are really right. thick they, stems. They are, and they are hard to get in. You have to really work them to get them in here. And uh, I know that uh, some of you, well, that's not where I want it, so let me take it back out. 
you may be wondering why we keep the stems so long and we do that so that we can give dimension to the wreath um, for those that's never watched us you know you may have that that question I want this one to stay up higher so I'm gonna do it just like that okay. hey Nancy hey Suzanne thanks for joining us tonight hey Bobby we're so happy to be here. And we appreciate more than you will ever know you all taking your time to watch us. That that means a lot to us. There we go. Now see how much better those leaves look. I just yeah. love those. I love those. those are, I love those. those. I don't and know if you just, mentioned this, but they came from Hobby Lobby. And we yeah, used I, think those, I, I don't um, remember if I did or not, but they did. We use the um, magnolia leaves from Hobby Lobby a lot because they're so realistic. They looking. are. They are just so pretty. They really look like the real thing. Mm -hmm. They do. Um, let's see. Somebody in the comments asked what the size was before you added anything. 24 inches. Of this one or that one? I think... Maybe she's talking about this one. This was a 24 this inch. This was a 24 inch grapevine. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I'm going to add my, a couple of my roses. These are so pretty, too. I was going to cut off some of those backs on mine because that makes it kind of hard when it's laying flat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I could I have put a wreath stand over here. I don't know why I didn't. Do what? Oh, yeah, you could have. could have. Yeah. Um, let's see. Julie's asking how you connected the birdhouse. Um, what I did was I actually stapled, I used my staple gun and I stapled wire, just my regular floral wire, 26 gauge. I uh, stapled it uh, to the bottom and then to both sides and even another one up here on the top. So it does have the wire here and the wire here, but once I get everything in, you know, it'll be hidden so you won't see it. So I use that a lot. You could also, of course, um, use pipe cleaners. You could use zip ties, anything like that. I just always have wire with me, so that's what I tend to use. But any of that would work. Um, uh, you also, instead of actually um, stapling it, you could, if you've got a drill, you could drill little holes in it and do it that way. But yeah, we used I, to always drill, yep, and we did. then we realized it was kind of easier. Hey, Leslie, thanks for joining us. Um, it was kind of easier <laughs> to just staple, so we started doing that. But if you don't feel com comfortable using the staple gun, sometimes they make me a little bit nervous for some reason. Mm -hmm. Well, that <laughs> which I don't know that it drills any yeah. any better, but you can always drill a hole. Yeah. Um, Jane, the wreath that I'm putting the greenery on started out as a. Um, 14 inch grapevine. Now I'm just going to add a couple of my daisies. And I've got my sunflowers too. But let's see here. I wonder how long it's going to take before the first bird gets on here. We'll mm, probably like um, we'll see. Two days. <laughs> yeah, probably if if that long. They've got like uh, they yeah, know it. They know it. They know it when you put a wreath out. Yep. Or they do. Fortunately, I also have cats, so I have to uh, watch them when Yeah, there's... you know, I'm wondering if our cat was the one that knocked out. It them. may have. Yeah, it's hard to hard to tell. They do like to try to get after them. Yeah, and um, those of you that are asking what she's dipping, we're dipping um, the ends of the stems in glue. It's a, it's a pot full of hot glue. Yes, it is. Okay, and I've got some sunflowers here that I'm adding now.
Diane, this is actually not going on a door. It's going on the side of her house. She yes, this on is the actually. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have a blank wall beside my door. I usually don't put anything on my door because I have a storm door and I just don't, I like big wreaths. So I can't really put what I want to in between the door and the storm door. Although occasionally I have put them on the glass, but I use the wall beside my door and that's, um, that's where this one is going. So, so white. <laughs> yeah, it's white. It is white. Yeah, that's why I, I painted the welcome and I debated on what color, but I said with the back, uh, the white behind it, you'd be able to see the black. So that was my reasoning behind that. This is a Sherbonder glue skillet that we're using. It's made by Sherbonder. So we can put the link of where you can get it in right after we're done. Okay. I've got some more. I'm going to, let me see, let me go ahead and put these right quick. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside just for a minute. I'm going to make a bow for that one. The client, she wanted just a small burlap bow. Yes, just very simple. But sometimes simple is what people like. Yeah. So, that's good. Well, let's see. I'll answer some questions. Denise said, Amanda, you're using a particular, are you using a particular pattern for applying the greenery? Um, well, I have three different types of greenery. And I kind of um, am limited with each type of how much I have. So basically right now, I'm just trying to go around and um, add each type so that I can make sure that I don't have too much of one type in one area or too much of you know, another type in another area. So I'm trying to just even it out right now. Usually if I'm using one type of greenery for these greenery wreaths, I'll do the whole outside and then I'll come in and fill, up, fill the inside. But I'm doing it a little bit different this time just because I am working with different greeneries. And I almost forgot about the bow, so that's why I wanted to stop and go ahead and add the bow because that'll help me figure out where all I need my greenery to. Hey Vicki, thanks for joining us. Hey Vicki. I'm just adding geraniums around. Actually, I may have to cut those just a little bit shorter, even. And for the members in our Design with the Pros group, as I, I harp on constantly, I'm putting something behind my bow because that is so, so important. So this rate, this bow is a little bit smaller. These are about um, going to be about five inch loops. The one that I made for that, they're more like six inches. Hey Dawn, yes, in the comments, Dawn, Dawn said how convenient the glue uh, skillet is, and it is. Oh, That's it what is we amazing. Love about it. Yes, we love it. We definitely love it. Okay, so I'm going to start adding some of my little, my little flowers. And then I may rearrange some of stuff. We'll just see. Go ahead and just fluff that out.
right. It's a pretty bow. So this is just a a simple little burlap bow. But I'm going to put this up here in the upper left corner of the wreath. So I'm just going to wire it to my wreath base. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Hey, Dawn. Thank you. I'll show you how I, I attach that. I just put it up here in the upper left, it's my upper left hand um, corner, and then I just kind of put my tails up to one side and then down on the other side. Just give it a little something extra. And now I'm going to fill the rest in with my greenery. What do I do with my clippers? There they are. Oh, I lost my clippers. That would be tragic. Yeah. I don't like those clippers, though, so it wouldn't be that tragic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that the bad ones you've well, got? Well, I just don't love those. Yeah. They're, they're not my favorites. Yeah. As long as I keep mine, I'm happy. Oh. You sold your first sunflower. Th congratulations. Oh, That's awesome. Who was that? It went by quick. So oh, well, it. congratulations. That is awesome. I know that is so exciting too. So good. Okay, now I'm going to add some of my cute little, these are so pretty to me, these little fillers. I love them and they've got such pretty greenery on them already, so that helps also to, uh, give your wreath interest so I'm always looking for things like that 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 add to it and this is definitely one of them add some boxwood in here in this one that's so pretty Do you have had a question? He said, hey, ladies, I, I hey, had a Jim. person on a live ask me if I was worried that hot glue would melt. Have you had this problem? I, I think you may mean that like, like if it, once like you on get wreath, it on I the wreath. And uh, no, we I've never. We are in Alabama. My wreaths are uh, face, face the west. So we get direct sun in the afternoons and evenings. And it is hot. I mean, my door gets hot. And I have never had any trouble with anything falling out with the hot glue. So no, I haven't either. Now, I will say that probably if you, um, what I would not suggest is just gluing your signs on. No, no, I definitely wouldn't do anything heavy like that. Yeah, I would I always would, wire something I would something make sure heavy. if it's a heavy item, like, you know, and, and Jimmy probably already knows this, uh -oh, but if yeah. it's a heavy item like a sign or a... Um, you know, any kind of embellishment that has some weight to it, I would wire on as opposed to just gluing. But just the regular um, flowers and greenery, I mean, we're in Alabama. Yeah, and it doesn't we get never, a, I mean, it gets never hot. had any trouble. And yep. we don't have any trouble with it. So, and this Sherbonder glue is really good. It is good. It really is. Right now, I'm just sprinkling these flowers all around. Just wherever, wherever I decide to, just anywhere. And like I said, these are great filler flowers because they do have such pretty greenery on them already. Lisa asked, she says, Amanda, what greenery did you use and did you rotate them on the wreath? 
Um, yeah, I did rotate them. I've got a limited number of each greenery, so I want to make sure that I have it evenly on the wreath. But I do not want it to look uniform, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So I do kind of make sure that I have the same amounts all the way around, but I don't want it to be like one and then another and then an another and, you know, like I don't want it to look uniform because I kind of just want it to look like it's like wild greenery just growing um, in a field. But I've got some pea leaf. This, this came from um, Pioneer Wholesale. Mm -hmm. um, I've got some eucalyptus that came from Hobby Lobby, and then I've got some boxwood that came from Hobby Lobby. And let's see, what can, what can you spray on your finished wreaths to help them to hold their color? Um, um, let me see, I think I've got some over, over here. Wait just a second. Uh, show them that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this you can spray that on. Um, there are a couple different things that you can get. Mm -hmm. I think Krylon actually also makes a spray they do. that you can get. It's a protective spray, and it's going to um, help it to keep its color so that the sudden doesn't fade it. Christy, the greenery, uh, the eucalyptus and the boxwood greenery are both from Hobby Lobby, yes. And I guess she's asking about mine. Um, she, and her greenery, where's uh, it from? <laughs> where did I get the, my greenery? I, I, you can get anywhere, but I think I got this actually from a floral. I think. I, I honestly can't remember, but um, but I am going to be using some from Michaels as well here in just a minute. Couple more of these. That one. Kyle, the large wreath is is not a, well. It's custom for her. She's making it for herself. I'm making it for myself. Yeah. <laughs> we this rarely is going on mine. Yeah. Uh, I know she, especially her. She rarely makes wreaths for herself. I end up somehow. She gets everything I make usually, but uh, <laughs> I somehow end up with them. Yeah. If they don't, if we don't sell them. If we don't sell them, yes. But she rarely makes one for herself, so. But this one I am. I have had this little birdhouse for a good little while now. You probably had that birdhouse for like two or three years. Yes, and I've been, I can't, I've been saving it. I kept saying I am making me something with that birdhouse, and I just, just haven't. So, tonight's the night. Okay, right now I have some... Uh, fern, but I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, I'm going to add some of this around. I've got a couple of different greeneries I'm going to put in because if you've ever watched us, greenery is my thing. Yeah. And that's what I love. So I tend to add quite a lot usually. I just think it makes all the difference in your wreaths. Okay, and you'll make sure that when you're doing these wreaths, that wreath, any type of wreath that you make, always please make sure that you put s something behind the bow. Yes. That's like my that's big, I, yep. that's like my big pet peeve. It is. Always it's both make of sure ours. that you have something behind your bow so that it can stand up really pretty and looks really full. Yeah, that is a big pet peeve of ours. It just really makes a difference. All of these little things is what what separates you from somebody else if you make wreaths. Yeah, it's the details. It's, it's the all details. in the details. <laughs> exactly. How the stem got so short. Oh, sometimes yeah. they just do. It's uh, cut that one off really short. Uh oh. Okay. Now I've got some other little things I'm going to 
some little natural looking things I'm going to add. And if I miss your comments, I'm not ignoring you. It just kind of goes fast. It and does go by so quick. And I'm not the best at multitasking. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's hard. It's already hard kind of making one sideways and then from the side of it yeah. and then trying to read too. But hey, we're just blessed that y'all have questions and that you ask us. Yeah. And we'll come back and answer we any, sure questions, will. any questions after we get done. I've had people say, well, you, you already had it, it looked finished, and then you just kept adding, but all of the things, the elements that you add, all of that makes a difference. I mean, you could just put, you know, flowers and, and maybe just one greenery, and yes, it would be a wreath and it would be finished, but it would not have nearly the interest as it will, you know, once you get everything in it. And uh, it just really makes all the difference. Let's see. I do see somebody asks, how well does the burlap bows hold up outside? Now, actually, I call this burlap that I'm using, but it's not real burlap. It is, um, it's a linen burlap, faux burlap. Um, I actually like using this better. And if I can, if I have this on hand or if I can find this, I'll use this um, instead of burlap because it has the same look, but it's a lot lighter weight. It's a lot safer. Um, burlap can be kind of bad on your lungs, especially if you make a lot of bows with it um, because the little fibers when you cut it <clears throat> and they get in the air. So I try to use this faux linen burlap if I can. And this holds up great outside. I mean, people will use these even on like uh, mailbox bows and things like mm -hmm. that. I mean, yeah, that, that does work. I've used good. these outside. They're great. Okay. Now, I did just forget it a second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to look at mine because I kind of got it. I don't know. I'm not used to doing wreaths on a table. I usually have them on a stand, so yeah. it's hard for me to see. <laughs> it's hard to see, I know. Yeah. Unfortunately, apparently Michael's is out of stock with this right now. I hope that they get it back in. I cannot remember what it's called, but it is wonderful, and I use it in a lot. So, yeah, they usually have that um, yeah, pretty regularly. They do. So, so. I'm hoping that they're going to get it back in. We'll have to bombard them with yes, some, tell some them calls. We've got to have it. So we have really, got to have it because it's the best stuff to use in wreaths. It is. And it really adds a lot. Okay, I'll just let y'all look at this so far because I know you probably can't see it too well laying on the table. I've still got to add more um, of my greenery. I've got a few more pieces I'm going to add. But you can see this just turns out to be just a really nice natural looking wreath. Um, I love these greenery wreaths. I do too. We sell, we've we always sold quite a few. Mm -hmm. Yep. People we like them. Certainly have. And with the, they're, they're good with a farmhouse yeah. look, but they're also good with just, you know, just any kind mm -hmm. of look. Great in a dining room. I mean, there's yeah. so much you could use with those. I don't know about y'all, but I actually use wreaths throughout my the inside yes, of my house. Do. So yeah. let me know in the comments if you guys have ever used a wreath inside your house or, you know, if you are a wreath seller, wreath maker, if you have sold to people who use them inside the house. Because I have... Um, We've honestly probably have, sold as many well, for yeah, inside as we have outside. I have one, two... Trying to count. I've got I, right now. I've at least got a couple in different rooms in my house. So, yeah. And this is a great one that you can use indoors or mm -hmm. outdoors. Yeah, sure. And I. 
you know, I, I do love greenery, of course. Everybody knows that. But um, to me, that's just, just such a good, versatile design that just goes with just about any decor. And I love that about it. Yeah, Suzanne said she's got a couple in her house. So. Yeah. Yeah, and Luann says she uses them inside also. Mm -hmm. And Patty says she uses wreaths on almost all of her inside, her inner doors. Oh, well interior that's doors. good. I guess you would call it. Yeah, that is good. Let's see. I like that. As you see, I'm just sprinkling some of this around, just uh, making sure that I've got it all throughout, and it just kind of hangs, and that's a, a neat look, I think. Okay, now I'm going to finish filling in with more of this, my little filler flowers. geraniums also. has definitely got a lot going on, but I just think it's uh, going to be perfect where I need to fill up some space. Yeah, and you're one of the one of those go big, go home type I people. I definitely. Now that's that's me. No doubt about it. Which I am too in most cases, but actually when it comes to wreaths, I am more, she likes like more I'm simple. into more of the, yeah. you know, simple, kind of, oh, this is my style, I guess. Yep, and that's all right, too. I've got a couple of little natural things I'm going to just add here, just like I said, for interest. Hey Cheryl, thank you for joining us tonight. Hey Betty Faye. Yeah, I love the simplicity of the greenery wreath. Um, mm -hmm. I just uh, I do too. I like it. Yep. I made one very similar to go in my den the other week. Some of you may have seen the picture. And uh, I loved the way it came out. I love this. This the pea leaf. That mm -hmm. is one of my. It actually favorites. has more greenery than I intended, but I, 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 it's just the way my. I always don't. End up. Yes, and I don't think the customer will <laughs> complain. No, I don't think. I don't complain. think she will complain a bit. I get a little bit carried away sometimes. I think that is perfectly all right. ahead and clip off some of the backs. I'm just going to clip off some of these stems that are sticking out the back. Mm -hmm. And I can see it better.
are your yes. portrayed for just a minute. Yeah, that is all right. You're the Let sharper. Me put this back just a little, so I can see what I might want to add. Oh, I think I missed a lot of comments. Sorry, guys. Uh oh. Um, the greenery came That's from um the boxwood and the eucalyptus came from Hobby Lobby, and then the pea leaf, which is the lighter color mm -hmm. um, greenery, it came from a place called um, Pioneer. Pioneer Wholesale. Mm -hmm. um, but it is strictly a wholesale company. Yeah, but I, there was somewhere on, there was somewhere on yeah, Facebook somebody. that was selling it, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I don't know if it was Ranch House Reefs that was selling it. Yeah, or I don't, I don't know. Where. I don't remember. But we have used a ton of that this year. I was going to put this. Bad when you have something in your hand and you forget where you were going to put it, which is not unusual for me. Yeah, you want to tell them what you were doing before, what you were looking for, right before we went on? <laughs> yeah, right the before lid we went on my, the, the lid <laughs> she was looking, to my drink. She was yes. looking everywhere for the lid to her Mountain Dew. I mean, she was fussing because we're, you know, you know, we're in the we south, you know, we're in the south, so fussing. we fussed I about was fussing. <laughs> I was like, who took the she, lid to my Mountain Dew? She was now. fussing about the lid to her yeah. Mountain Dew. I was having a, a hissy fit, as do you we wanna, say. Do you yeah. want to tell them where the lid was? It was on it. It was. I finally looked at her. I said, look. <laughs> it was. It was yeah. on it. It was you know, on the One bottle. of those things. I mean, I just knew somebody had taken the lid to, I don't know why I thought somebody would want it, but you know, know. I, and that I somebody, knew, of course, that some, I'm the only somebody, <laughs> I'm the only somebody here, yep. and I certainly did, Oops. Yep. didn't take the lid to her mountain dew, <laughs> no, I don't guess you did, did you, should, y'all, oh if y'all could goodness. only be a fly on the wall, <laughs> oh. well, hey, you know, it was one of those days, and I just just knew somebody had it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sure I'll play with it a little more before I put it up. But I wanted to go ahead. Now, where in the world there it is? Somebody took my bee and my ladybug. That's right. Then you, you know, said you don't feel good enough yet. Yeah, that that's she's that's got an excuse. Good. Yeah, that that works. That works real <laughs> well. Okay, I've got a cute little bird here, and I'm looking for my little stick. Where is my stick? Okay. Now I'm just gonna put some glue on it, and I think I'm gonna have it sit right here on the top of the bird house. So I am just gluing that pretty little bird right there. And then I've also got a cute little ladybug that I was going to put on here. So I'm putting just a little glue on it. And I think I'm going to add it right here on my sign just like that. Oh, that hit me in the face. <laughs> and then I got a little bee. Where do I want to oh I see where I want to put my bee. And I'm just I'm just using a stick to dip into my glue skillet and get some glue on it. And I'm just gonna put my little bee right here. There we go. And like I said, I'm sure I'm going to have to Oh, yeah, that turned out in. really pretty. Well, thank you, darling. I'm sure I will have to put, you know, fill in some places when I can put it back and see it better. But, um, but there we go. You see what we've done anyway. Yes, y'all. Ficus leaf is very economical. It's definitely it is. one of the most economical um, greeneries that you can use. 
it's inexpensive and sure. you can use it year round, which is what is really great. Yes, we use it in Christmas. We, we do. use it in everything. We use it all year yes. round. Yes, and the thing is, you know, you you use it as a base, and then you can use, you know, sparingly some of your other more expensive greenery. You know, just kind of sprinkle it around. And that saves you money, but yet you still got it, you know, as for the interest and in all of your wreath. So, uh, and, uh, and you can build on it, which sure. uh, I guess one of the things that, you know, we learned a long time ago, the thing that's really going to separate your wreath from somebody else is that dimension. It is the, mm -hmm. it is those, you know, details like we talked about sure. earlier. It's all in the details. So ficus is great to use as a starter base and you can build upon it, create that depth you know, that, that's really uh, visually pleasing. Sure. So I love ficus. Now you wouldn't want it, or I, I personally wouldn't want to use it by itself. No. You know, yeah, you I, build, would, I would want to it build and, on it. Yeah. But um, yes, it's, uh, it is, it's the perfect greenery for that. So we will have to take a picture of it when you've got it up. Yeah, when I get it on my wall, <laughs> we'll take a picture and show you all. But, um, but here it is, and, and there's the the yeah, greenery the one too and uh let's see i have it right yeah there. you've got it right isn't that <laughs> cute that is really cute isn't it and uh i think that the customer is going to love it i love I it i hope so yeah i think so and uh amanda did tell you that our design with the pose club does um end uh well, well it closes doesn't end. It clo it the closes. doors close <laughs> yeah, it does not, not end don't don't panic members it's not ended not for years and years and many 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 years but the doors close for new members on the 31st and we would love to have you join us we have a wonderful time in there we have got the most awesome group that uh are so supportive and we enjoy teaching them and uh, you know, all of the things that, that we've learned over the 12 years that we've been doing this and being in business. And so um, we'd love to have you join us. And Amanda will put a link mm -hmm, yeah, sure for that. Comments, and, and uh, yeah. yep, she's going to put a link. So, um, and you can find all the information about it. And, um, oh, oh thank Linda, you, Linda, thank you so much. She said she enjoyed it. Oh, Jim said that he used the ficus stems as a base for a uh, swag recently. Mm -hmm. Yes, they make yeah. excellent yeah. bases. They it really does. Uh, I use them a lot of times for swags and things. So uh, that's yeah, they're great. great for so much. I mean, you can even use them in arrangements and things like that. I mean, it's one of those greeneries that is inexpensive. It's so versatile and it can be used year round, which is yes, yes. A plus. <laughs> in fact, I may I may be using them in an arrangement we're doing for our Design with the Pros group uh, Thursday, I believe it is. It's Thursday when we're doing yes. the arrangement, yeah, table arrangement. So we're excited about that. So anyway, we'll see. We'll see. All right, guys, and you stay tuned because I will be putting the link in the comments to where you can learn more about our Design with the Pros club. And we have tons of really great tutorials on our yes, blog. So yes. if you have not um, subscribed to our blog and check that out, you should do that. It Definitely. is gracemonroehome.com. We've got tons of, of free, yes, yeah, like free tons tutorials. of free videos, tutorials. We just constantly want to give you guys more and more things that, more and more projects that you can do and wreaths that you can make. Yeah. Um, you know, we love them. We know that you guys love them. So we want to give you as much as we can. And y'all definitely, um, you've got nine more days. What is nine more days? Yes, nine more days to, to join, join our design with so, the Pros Club, and yeah. you will love it. So, oh, Diane said she finally saw us live. Oh, Yay, good. Diane! <laughs> Yay! We are good. happy that you caught us. Yes, and um, but uh, anyway, yes, make sure to do that, and also subscribe to our channel on YouTube, Grace Monroe Home. Um, we have a lot of tutorials there as well, so make right, sure guys. to do that. Yeah, definitely. Well, we hope that you have a wonderful night. We've had so much fun we with do. you guys. We hope that you have had a lot of fun too, so let us know in the comments if you've enjoyed this. 
um, and let us know if there's a certain type of wreath that you would like to see us make or an arrangement or a swag or whatever, whatever it, is. it is let yes. us know in the comments yes. because we want to give you as much as we can yes and you all have a blessed evening yes thanks so much guys we'll see you very soon bye, bye.